possible. It's very possible. Right. Nothing like a good glass of Chateau de Gisselier, do you say? Uh, you're right there, Obadiah. Uh, who would have thought 100 years ago we'd be sitting here drinking Chateau de Chasselet, eh? <laughs> Back in them days, we'd have been glad of a cup of tea. Cup of cold tea? Yeah, without milk or sugar. Or tea. Uh, <laughs> you know, filthy old cup. Cup? You didn't have a cup, you used to drink out of a rusty shell casing. Yeah, the best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. <laughs> but you know, though we were being shot at all the time, it weren't all bad. Uh -huh. oh, that's because we all had our pals to look after us. Yeah, I remember my dad saying to me, he said, you look after your trench, son, he said, because all your pals will be living in it. Uh, trench? You were lucky to have a trench. <laughs> we used to sleep under a tatty tarpaulin in the whole platoon. We all had to huddle together for warmth. We were lucky to have a tarpaulin. We used to have an old ammunition box. Oh, we used to dream of sleeping in an ammunition box. <laughs> would, have, would have been a palace to us. We had to sleep in a sack in a puddle. Trench? <laughs> yeah, well, when I say a trench, it was more a hole in the ground with a bit of corrugated iron on. But it were home to us. We were flooded out of our hole in the ground. We had to go and sleep in a bomb crater. You were lucky to have a bomb crater. <laughs> Our old battalion had to sleep in an old ammunition box behind toilet pit. A cardboard box? Aye. Oh, you were lucky. <laughs> Our entire regiment slept for three months in a brown paper bag in no man's land. We used to have to get up at six o'clock in the morning, clean the bag, eat a crust of stale bread, and be on guard duty for 14 hours a day, week in, week out. And when we got back to bag, Sergeant Major would Thrash us to sleep with his belt. Luxury. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have to get out of the bomb crater at three o'clock in the morning, clean the bomb crater, eat a handful of hot gravel. Then we used to have to go on guard duty every day for 16 hours straight. And then we come back to Bomb Crater and Sergeant Major would beat us around head and neck with a broken bottle if we were lucky. <laughs> but we had it tough. <laughs> we used to get off at 12 o'clock at night and lick trench clean with our tongues. <laughs> we had half a handful of cold, freezing cold gravel, did 24 hours guard duty, and when we got back to box, Sergeant Major would slice us in two with his bayonet. <laughs> right. <laughs> we used to get up in the morning at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before we went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we worked 29 hours a day <laughs> on guard duty, and we'd pay the enemy for permission to do it. <laughs> And then when we got back to camp, the colonel and the sergeant major would kill us, bury us, and jump up and down in our graves singing, glory hallelujah. Right. And you try and tell the young soldiers of today that, and they won't believe you. <laughs>